Hello and uh, welcome back to another update as we cover the latest developments throughout the front line in the Russo-Ukrainian war. It's your host Weep Union and we start out here to the south of Donetsk in the direction of the town of Novomikhailivka where the Russians have managed to make an advance to the southern parts of the town advancing towards the central parts and western parts of it. The Russians are now entering a new stage in the fighting over Novomikhailivka where they're looking to expand their zone of control from the central parts to the western parts of the town while at the same time they've been developing the situation in the north as well allowing them to flank in a northern position. We see this video here which shows a Russian soldier driving through a tank on the roads here to the northeast of Novomikhailivka where the Tanker then leaves the tank and removes a set of mines that were hastily dropped on the road to slow down a Russian advance. And with this, the road has now been unblocked and the Russians are able to use it to drive the armored vehicles into the town and to the northern parts of it. We then move on further north to the direction of the west of Avdivka, where the Russians have made yet another advance within Berdishi. They've managed to capture the eastern parts of the town completely. And with this, the Ukrainians are being pushed back to the western parts by the cemetery area here in the western parts, as well as down to Semenivka further west. And with this, the Ukrainians' main supply line going through the northern parts is now under threat as the Russians can start pushing the roads to the north, pushing through the Ukrainian fortifications in the area and cutting off the road to the north. They could also push through to the western parts from the central parts of the village where they would be able to reach and cut off the road physically through the cemetery. So there are multiple aspects to the fighting taking place and we see this video here from a Ukrainian perspective. There's also a Russian perspective but it's from the RC News. So I'm avoiding showing that to not get my account flagged. Both videos are very similar as it shows the same sequence of events. The Ukrainian perspective shows Ukrainian shelling of these armored vehicles. The Russian perspective shows these armored vehicles shooting at Ukrainian positions. So just showing their own advancements and victories while hiding their losses and counterattacks. So we're seeing that the Russians managed to push through the northern parts of Berdyshi and reach the central parts where the town is now split in two to the eastern and western parts. But with this, the eastern part is completely under Russian hands and behind their soldiers, and the developments will now take place in the northern parts, which leads to the fighting now being completely isolated to Semenivka and Berdyshi in the northern parts, the second line of defense of the Ukrainians. If the Russians manage to capture these, the next Ukrainian defensive line will go through Osheretene, Novobakhmutivka, and through to the south to Umanske and down south to Nitelove. It is indicative of based on recent advances that the Russians are also pushing towards Nitelove from the north, expanding the zone of control north of Pervomaiske, trying to infiltrate this second line of defense by pushing through Nitelove and Umanske by capturing fortifications in between the Russian and Ukrainian positions and pressuring the supply line and the connection between the two sides. But with these developments, we see that there is continuous fighting along the front line here west of Avdivka, and the Russians are slowly advancing. Further north in the direction of Bakhmut, we see that there is some shelling happening in the western parts of Bohdanivka, she located to the western parts, and with this, the Russian offensive operation here in the area is continuously developing as they're hitting the back line positions of the Ukrainians within the village, and there's likely going to be more assaults by the Russians in this section of the front line. The Russians over the past few days have significantly increased their offensive operations and subsequently increased advances and this is indicative of a new offensive operation that has recently started following a sort of operational pause where they limited their offensive operations. It is likely that this will continue until the summer offensive begins. And that is going to be all for this update. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe and check out my Patreon and have a great day.